to England's hottest spots is that stretch of the coast near Dover known as Hellfire Corner. It overlooks the channel, where, as a rule, quite a lot of things are going on. And only 20 miles away are Jerry's big guns. It's here, though, in Britain's front line, that Gilbert Mitchell runs a farm of 3,000 acres, almost under the nose of the enemy. Farmer Mitchell, on the left, listens, while Mrs. Mitchell points out to a pressman some of the damage caused by splinters from Jerry's show. Mrs. Mitchell's sister, 18-year-old Grace Harrison of the Land Army, who also works on the farm, has been awarded the British Empire Medal for her pluck in carrying on under the most unnerving conditions. Not only have all the windows been blown out, but some of the barns have been wrecked. Miss Harrison certainly isn't short of grim souvenirs in the shape of shell splinters. She's got half a ton of them. Apart from the danger to life and limb of running a farm at Hellfire Corner, Farmer Mitchell, himself a George Medalist, has done a big job reclaiming a great deal of his acreage from bracken-infested land which he has ploughed and planted for the first time. Bearing in mind his many difficulties, his first season's crop of potatoes, to take just one example, has been excellent. Enough and to spare. It's an ill wind that doesn't blow somebody some good. Oh, I say, look at her! How do you fancy a clamp like this on your allotment, Mr. Smith? It's men of Farmer Mitchell's calibre who are providing us with two-thirds of our foodstuffs. There are 200 chickens and one cat, but never a cross word. They don't eat the same things. Today on Britain's frontline farm, the Mitchells are growing some of the food we used to import. 